Labor Day is right around the corner, and if you're looking for a place to bring the family for a weekend getaway, look no further. This morning, we're joined by travel expert Michaela Guzzi to talk about destinations within driving distance of Connecticut that are packed with family fun activities and our sustainable places. Talk to us about that. Sure. Uh, my company, Oh The People You Meet, curates experiences that are immersive, transformative, and sustainable. And that's really in line with the United Nations declaring it the year of sustainability. So we try to choose experiences and empower our readers, followers, and fans to make responsible travel decisions that protect the environment, natural and cultural heritage, as well as support the local community. So I chose my top five experiences within driving distance from New Haven that won't break the bank. And that's perfect because families are heading back to school. They need something quick, easy, and affordable. Exactly. So tell us what the first one is. My first one is the Nature Conservancy named Block Island, Rhode Island, one of the 12 last greatest places to visit in the entire Western Hemisphere. And so over half of the island is actually naturally protected. It's a wildlife hotspot. Spot. Wow, wow. And, and how far away is that? Not far? Not very far at all. So a very quick ride. And actually next up, um, we decided that you should go visit the Charles W. Morgan. It's a national landmark actually in Mystic, Connecticut, docked right in the charming seaport. And Mystic, Connecticut is not only known for this historic landmark, but also has some world famous pizza. If you remember uh, yes. Julia Roberts <laughs> movie. So. I do. I do remember <laughs> Mystic Pizza. Okay, our third? Our third is actually, if you're not in the pizza, go to Rockport, Massachusetts up until, um, what is it? Oh, Columbus Day. Up until Columbus Day in October, you can actually take a customized seal watching tour and go lobstering. And if you're lucky enough to catch a lobster, they let you keep it. So you're all set for dinner. Wow, how <laughs> exciting is that? Kind of fun and different. Pizza and lobster, I mean. Uh, <laughs> not so bad, yeah. not so bad. Okay, what else? And so most, most people in Connecticut might not think of Long Island as a quick getaway, but actually if you take the Bridgeport Ferry, it's a one hour scenic ferry ride right across the Long Island Sound, and then a really quick drive to Montauk. And the reason you should visit at Montauk is its home of the Deep Hollow Ranch and that's actually the birthplace of the American cowboy and the oldest working ranch in the entire United States. You can camp, visit their beautiful beaches and even go trail riding. And you know Michaela what I love about all of these is that if you are taking your family it's fun but you're giving the kids a little bit of living history here. You know exactly. it's like they're in school but not in school. <laughs> Tricking them to learn through having <laughs> fun, yes, you know. I love that. <laughs> so if you want more information about these, do you help with, you know, planning? If it's just some of these you can go in a day and come back, but some of them you might want to do a stay over, you should start preparing now, I'm assuming. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, you're you're right out from Labor Day, but a lot of these are all within driving distance. Your biggest thing will be hotel availability. My last tip was actually New Paltz, New York, oh. and they have the Mohonk Mountain House, which is set along this beautiful glacial blue lake nestled in the mountains. They have naturalist programs and hiking for all ages and all levels. So I have more information on my website, Oh The People You Meet. And uh, we actually have a story specifically for this segment. So it has a link to this, but as well with a lot of details on how to book, how to get there, um, and links to some of our favorite places to stay. That is perfect. Ms. Kayla Guzzi, thank you so much for joining us and all of those wonderful tips. We will link to her website on ours at WTNH.com. All you have to do is go to the on-air tab, pull down the Good Morning Connecticut section.